Yeah, Coach, you, you kind of talked about it with Chuck there, but what, what was your message at halftime in order to, to kind of get them turned around where they played much better in the second half? Uh, pretty simple. If you, you know, if you take ill-advised shots, you're coming out. And if you don't defend, you're coming out. And if you don't go to the defense and the offensive boards, you're coming out. It was pretty simple. Um, I, I thought it was the first time all year where we had some, uh, some selfishness creep in from an offensive standpoint. Um, you know, and then I think at halftime, we were able to understand um, and respect Oral Roberts a little bit more than just the coaches respecting them. Um, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to grab your team's attention when you win, you know, one, two, three, four, five games in a row. And, and um, again, I thought we played really, really good in the, in the second half, and I thought we played really, really poor uh, in the first half. Bob. Hey, I, th I think he said Bob. I couldn't hear real well. Um, Eric, uh, Cotter didn't play hardly at all. Was it just not his pace or style, or was he okay? Or what, what happened with Connor? Yeah, I, I thought, it, you know, he was minus one in the first half, which was better than most of our guys. Uh, but we just felt like they were putting him in middle pick and roll, and I wanted to play with more speed and, and kind of match down a little bit with them. Um, you know, and certainly, you know, to win the second half by 21 points, um, you know, it worked to our advantage, although Connor's been as good as anybody on our roster and he's going to be as valuable as any guy on our team. Um, you know, again, just a decision when we, when we looked at our starters, you know, he was kind of the only one in the minus, um, you know. And so, you know, that's kind of why we went with, with, the, with the group. We went smaller, replacing the 7-3 guy with – JD, who's six three, you know, and then, and then Justin got off to a bit of a slow start shooting wise. He obviously finished strong. I, I, I gotta believe that might be a career high for rebounds. Maybe not, but what did you think of Justin's game? I thought he was great. I mean, you know, he's, he he can he can defensive rebound even better than what he's done thus far. But um, offensive rebound, he's as good as offensive rebounder as I've coached. He's his d defensively, it's. It's really hard to take him off the floor because he can guard one through five. Um, and, and so because of his defensive ability, we really tend to rely on him um, defensively. And then I thought offensively, he, he, he stayed around that dunker spot and was really effective on the offensive boards and finishing around on the rim in the second half. I, I got some more, but I'll, I'll turn back to Mike. Scotty. Yeah, Coach, you talked about J.D a little bit with Chuck. I just, what did you see from him in the second half? And, you know, what kind of allowed him to, to score, you know, those 15 second half points? I, you know, I thought his ability to get to the rim and transition, he, you know, he sparked our scoring runs. He can create his own shot. Um, you know, I just liked how he got to the foul line and then converted going seven and eight, seven of eight from the line and uh, did a pretty decent job on the glass with five. But, you know, one of the things that we haven't talked about is Desi having 10 rebounds. I mean, uh, anytime you can get your off guard down there rebounding the basketball like Desi did tonight, four offensive boards, I thought he was really vital to us as well. Curtis. Hey, Coach, I, th I think you guys shot two of 16 from three maybe in the first half, and then you came out in the second half and looked like you had, you know, maybe five or six drives to the basket right away. Was that a uh, something that you preach there at halftime, being more aggressive, attacking the basket? Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, the way you just described it, Curtis is a lot more polite, um, you know, than maybe, you know, what was said at halftime. Um, I'm still biting my, you know, my tongue on the first half performance in our shot selection. But you know what? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go see an incredible Christmas light show with my family and my daughter, and I'm pumped up about that, and I don't want to ruin it by, by our first half performance. So I'm going to get in the holiday spirit as quick as I can. Nate? Just how pivotal is getting like Abnus and, and Glasper and, and Weaver in foul trouble in that first half? Yeah, I thought just the you know, dribble drive, not settling, um, you know, all those things, I thought – um, were important. Um, you know, I thought, you know, that we, we had quickness off the bounce that we were going to be able to, you know, to maybe put some pressure on them defensively. Um, and, I, you know, I thought we were able, you know, able to do that. 
Randy. Thank you. Eric, you talked about the selfishness. Do you think that led to the poor first half shooting, particularly beyond the three-point line? Because at times it didn't look like it was even good shot selection, much less uh, selfishness coming into play. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things, Randy. I think, you know, ill-advised shots, too many quick shots, uh, taking a decent shot instead of a good shot or a great shot. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought guys came into the game tonight thinking score instead of thinking Arkansas. Um, first time it's happened this year. Um, hopefully it does not happen again. Uh, but tonight, yeah, for sure. In the first half, um, not pleased, uh, not pleased with the way we played with the name on the front of the shirt. It's, it's the, uh, we'll get better. We'll address it. We'll show it. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll get better at that. Jackson. Seemed like all, almost all of Moses Moody's points came from uh, putbacks at the rim, uh, kind of attacking the boards. What do you think of his effort in kind of attacking those rebounds and not being just a jump shooter or a, or a drive penetrate guy? Yeah, I thought Moses did a good job in the second half on the glass. His shot selection was much better second half than it was in the first half. Um, but he struggled to, you know, I thought tonight was the first night that he struggled, um, you know, on both ends of the floor. And, and, and that, that happens at times, but I did think he regrouped. And, um, you know, anytime a guy can score 18 points, um, you know, in 28 minutes on a night that maybe he wasn't his best shows you the type of talent that he is. Bob. Bob. Uh, Eric, I think that was your first uh, technical foul of the year. Um, Look, maybe you're asking them what, why, what, um, what happened on that? Do you feel like it was maybe uh, you did deserve it, or what happened there? Yeah, I mean, I'd rather. I mean, you used a good word, Bob. I won't say anything, but um, you know, I'd rather save the money to get my wife a Louis Vuitton bag or something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, and Abilene's coming in here. They're seven and one. Their only loss was a. Texas Tech, and they had a shot to win that game. They got a seven-footer, too. Just I don't know how much you know about them, you, you know, because obviously it's a quick turnaround. But how do you feel about the quick turnaround? What, what do you know about Abilene? How tough? It looks like they might be the best team you've played so far. Yeah, I mean, I think they are. Um, they're w really well coached. Uh, they create disruptions. They deny passing lanes. They're a high steal team. They're a very well-balanced scoring team. There's not one or two players that you can focus on. They do a good job of throwing the ball into the post. Um, but the majority of their offense is created through their defense. So we've got to do a really good job of taking care of the ball. Uh, we can't try to make home run plays. We can't try to thread the needle. Uh, we've got to throw rope passes. We've got to be strong when we're dribbling the basketball. We've got to have a good arm bar when we're dribbling the ball. We've got to come and meet the pass with two hands. You can't wait on the pass against Abilene Christian. Well, like I say, they have a seven-footer. Um, his name escapes me. I know it's KK. His initials are KK, but um, – do you see maybe this being more of a game for Connor with a seven footer on the other other side? Well, I don't I don't really know, Bob. You know because you know I was more focused on Oral Roberts, but it's obvious that I know probably a little bit more about Abilene Christian than than after some other games. I mean, I've studied them. I think the whole key to the game is going to be how we take care of the basketball against their pressure. That that's what I think will be the whole key to the game. And um, you know, I think we'll be able to skip, score if we don't turn the basketball over. Um, but like I said, they're tough, they're gritty, they're scrappy, um, they're well coached, um, and they will throw the ball in the post. So I think anytime you play against a team that throws the ball into the painted area, now all of a sudden, uh, big number 23 CV, uh, he becomes a factor. Do you like having a quick turnaround when you didn't play particularly well? Kind of, hey, let's get back out there and play, or is it a, is it a tough challenge to play twice in three days? That, it's a, not ideal, but because of finals and the availability of the arena, we had no choice, but certainly wish that this game, I stated earlier in the week, I wish this game was on a Friday or Saturday to give us more prep time. I think we're better the more prep time we have. Having said that, um, the schedule is what it is. We've got to go, have a quick turnaround. Um, based on how we played the first half, I would have loved to have played right now um, and, 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 and get after it again and try to redeem ourselves after the first 20 minutes. But we did play good the second half. 
We'll go through, watch a lot of film tomorrow on Abilene Christian, not do much on the legs with the guys that played a lot of minutes and, and, uh, and get ready for an early tip at four o'clock on uh, Tuesday. And I, just, I just got one, one more, if that's okay. You obviously aren't happy with the way you played, but some teams, you know, they play a crappy game and they lose, you know. How good is it that you didn't have to lose the game to maybe, you know, uh, learn something, the guys learned something? Great question, Bob. With that light show that starts at 5 o'clock um, at the drive-in movie theater, I know that I'm going to have a happy car to watch these Christmas light shows. It's very important that we came out with the win tonight. Okay, well, I'm happy for your family then, too. <laughs> hey, we got room in the back seat if you want to join us, Bob. I'll probably still be right. <laughs> but Thanks. He answered what I was going to ask. All right. Hutch, you're, that's it? You're, gonna, you're sitting on deck and you got nothing? Uh, I, I was going to ask what preparation was going to look like tomorrow, and you already answered it. A lot of film, a lot of scouting reports sent to the guys tonight, a lot of reading, a lot of film work. Later.